Hey everyone, this is Nick from Mecca Warehouse, and today we're back with weekly update number 71. Let's jump right into it with Week in Review, where we talk about what's been going on this past week, things that are coming up, and let's start off with the thing everybody wants to know about, which is the virtues, and uh, they are still not here as of Thursday morning, uh, but they are in New Hampshire. I think they hit the depot sometime this morning. I doubt they'll be out for delivery today, because usually they call the day before, Although, fingers crossed, maybe I'll be wrong. But most likely, they'll arrive on Friday while we're shipping out the uh, the other set of restocks, which means the, the pre-orders will ship out as soon as we can uh, get all that stuff broken down. So the Virtues came in today. Uh, I didn't expect them to. They showed up relatively late in the afternoon. We scrambled like crazy to check stuff in. So the Virtues and the Master Grade Dynamas will be restocking, uh, I guess, today when you're seeing this on Friday. Uh, I don't expect them to last super long. We just really couldn't deal with the space. You can see how many virtues are are over here. How many cases? There's like more than two pallets worth of just virtues here, and uh, just to hold on to them until the next chance to restock them. We figured we'd just get them up. Everything else that was on that shipment, though, uh, we got to finish kind of dotting our I's and crossing our T's on. So those will all show up in the following week's restock. Next up though, let's talk about ODO. So I went down to Old Dominion Open uh, for Saturday. It was a crazy trip. If you haven't had a chance, make sure you watch the uh, the vlog we put out on Wednesday. The vlog, uh, you know, kind of captures the whole the whole trip, the show, all that good stuff. I think it came out really really good. Santana did a great job editing it and shooting it. Uh, we'll have a bunch of interviews coming. From it but it was it was a crazy trip uh, we were supposed to fly down we had a 445 flight originally scheduled sometime last Thursday they canceled that flight so I had to scramble to get a flight to even get down there we moved it to a 950 flight they delayed it about a dozen times and constantly changing the the time of it we didn't get on the plane until one we didn't hit the ground or didn't get off the ground until two which means we got in at like four and uh, then the apparently the rental car place was closed all the the uber drivers weren't driving at four in the morning in richmond apparently couldn't get an uber eventually we found a cab but it was a lot later than we wanted to got to the hotel i slept maybe like an hour tops i didn't sleep well and then got right up to go to the show so rest of the details i'll let you catch in the vlog uh but it was a crazy trip down there much easier trip coming back less less issues on the way back uh but we saw a ton of incredible builds met a lot of great people uh including some old friends we've from last time and uh it was it was a great show and i'm really looking forward both to old dominion open 2023 and uh, whatever the next one that we can go to is. Hopefully, we we'll really get out to some more events this year uh, as things are getting more and more normal. Next subject, uh, new hires. So we hired two people. They both started on Monday, Brent and Chad, and uh, they've been slowly coming up to speed. It will be really helpful when the virtues do arrive because we'll have uh, an extra pair of hands two pairs of hands, something like that, to help with uh, breaking that stuff down and getting everything shipped out. And uh, it's already been super helpful with just some of the other chaos going on just to have those extra extra hands around. And uh, I'm looking forward to all the benefits that are gonna come from, from the expanded team. And uh, I can't wait to, to hire some more people. I've got some other positions I wanna fill. I'm just not sure we're ready for it yet, but in the, in the future. Uh, Warehouse would be the next subject, the, the last one for week in review. So one, I'm really hoping to to get into a bigger warehouse. We've been talking about the warehouse being uh, not big enough and running out of room. That seems like it's a constant topic in weekly updates. It's a constant, uh, it's, it almost a day doesn't go by where someone, usually me, says we need a bigger warehouse. And uh, so I think we're getting close to that point where we're, we're going to actually get a bigger warehouse. I'm starting to run down some leads and start trying to figure that out. Our lease in this space ends, I think, in August. So we have until then to, to get something figured out. But I think we're going to need to get moved before that. So hopefully, like, late spring, early summer maybe, something like that. But to make some more space here, we did do some, some improvements this week. 
uh, we were able to get some paint we had off on the floor, off the floor. We had a few few extra paints that we couldn't fit on a rack. We've got a rack that's actually just out of frame over here now, a small rack that managed to kind of absorb that stuff up off the floor. Uh, we also moved the Tamiya paint to the other side of the bin rack that we added a couple weeks ago for the display paint. Uh, we moved the decals to a new a new set of shelves. That's where the Tamiya rack used to be. So there's some, some nice improvements that way. We're trying to make some other improvements too. Uh, but in doing all that, I think we've freed up a little bit of space. It feels more organized, uh, and I think it's going to be, be helpful going forward. Uh, so with that said, let's move on to pre-orders. And a lot of pre-orders uh, added to the site this week. Uh, some really uh, some exciting ones. Uh, first up, we got three new Zoids. We got the Terrace Bomber uh, Marking Plus version, the Great Saber Marking Plus version, and the Zoids Gojulus the Ogre, which is apparently massive. I, I found out after we put them up that that box is huge, probably bigger than any PG we've had. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but it's it's going to be be a record breaker for us, I think, in terms of size. So three new Zoids uh, up for pre-order. We got the Love Love alternative uh, su-47 we've got two kits uh they're both ace combat kits it's a, apparently a game and they're basically like fighter jets so it'll be our first foray into any sort of jet even though it's from from an anime technically uh, but the big one we got a set of i believe they're 27 different uh, they're essentially miniatures i think they're you know, one 285th scale or something like that if i remember correctly they're, they're tiny compared to most of the other models, but they're from Macross and Robotech. So that's the uh, Kid Logic Mini Tech is the, the name of the line, I believe. I think Flame Toys is actually distributing it or involved in there. Um, but there's 27 different ones. It's for a game that's coming out or is already out. I, I, I'm not totally sure, but the, the exciting thing, both, yeah. So they're, they're uh, it's interesting because they're branded both Macross and Robotech, which is, is interesting. People ask about Robotech stuff and Macross stuff all the time. There were some licensing issues, and I guess those licensing issues with the U.S. have kind of finally cleared up. So this might be the beginning of the opening of the floodgates for Macross and Robotech returning to the U.S., which is exciting because a lot of those kits have been harder to find because no one had like distribution rights for anything like that. In North America or the United States or whatever so definitely take a look at that especially if you're into miniatures uh, I'm not sure exactly how tall they stand I'm sure it depends on which one it is but they're they might be worth looking at especially if you were into artifact if you are done like Warhammer or any of that kind of stuff they seem to be kind of on a similar similar scale from what I can tell without having held them or seen more details on them so that's it for pre-orders Let's talk about restocks. And uh, like we've been doing the past couple weeks, I'm gonna run around and look at these. So our first restocks, we got these uh, Xeon Soldier. Um, these are from Mega House. This is our first stuff from Mega House. So they're basically action figures. They are not kits. Uh, so it'll be kind of interesting to see how these do, but uh, I think they might be interesting for the serious fan of Gumpo stuff or Gundam stuff, I guess. We also got the first, our first Gundam Universe figure. So again, branching out into figures a little bit. Uh, these are basically just action figures of um, mobile suits. We have a few other ones on pre-order, and I think there's some other ones that will be on the way in the coming weeks and months as well. Uh, of course, more Xeon soldiers. You can get each of those three individually or as a set. Uh, let's go this way. Here we go. So high grade Al Tyson. This is another uh, Super Robot Wars kit. Really interesting design. It actually looks very Gundam-like, and is is quite quite interesting. I don't know if I like the red, but I like the the design of that one. We also have Metal Garurumon. So this is a Digimon kit. One of the probably the second one we've gotten that is not a uh, amplified so it's not as mechanized in its appearance but probably be fun for anybody who is a fan of the uh, the Digimon series and then I think there's one more on this side but the option weapon one for Alto I think we might have a few of these in stock and we're topping off 
but good weapon pack if you are looking something for looking for something for your 30 minute missions or high grades or whatever. Okay, so next up on this side, we got this desktop army uh, Silphy 2 mode B. So I believe this is another figure. Uh, I'm not totally sure uh, what's what's involved here, but it's it's another Mega House item. It appears to be a figure. Got some different accessories and stuff for some different looks. That's another good good image right there with kind of what what is in the box. Uh, so if you're into figures, you're into the like Mecha Masume kind of thing that might be worth checking out. Sazabis, we've got, I think we either just ran out or about to run out of Sazabis, so we got some more in with this latest restock. So if you've been looking for one, we still still have them. We've been able to keep them pretty much consistently in stock for a while now. I don't know how long that will last. Um, Limex Triceratops, this is a new line of kits. I think there's also a T-Rex coming at some point as well. The, it's interesting as the whole dinosaur skeleton thing, but what I think is more interesting is this Limex material. So it's supposed to be a limestone based something or other. I think it's like essentially a recycled material. Limex is a new innovative material made in Japan that uses limestone as its main material. It's been patented in more than 40 countries around the world. It's registered as an excellent Japanese technology with Unido. Sustainable technology promotion platform to contribute to the conservation of resources that are high risk of depletion, such as oil, water, and forest resources used to manufacture alternative products for plastic and paper. So it's basically an experiment in making kits out of something that isn't basically normal plastic, because uh, limestone is, I think, more sustainable than some of the plastics out there. So I'll be interested to hear what people think of these kind of kits just how that material works related to plastic and, and what the pros and cons are there. We also got two Pokemon kits in. Uh, we got some Zekrom. I think we got some of these in a while back, but didn't have many of them actually make the shelf because of damage, if I remember correctly. So we actually have them on the shelf now. And uh, we also got, I believe it's this Pikachu. I think we got some more of these in stock as well. I might have to double check that, but if it is, we'll, we'll put a note or something down here. But we did get some more of a Pokemon kit in, Pikachu kit, and we also finally the Figurize Standard Tri Chaser. This is another uh, Common Rider kit, and uh, I believe it comes with a motorcycle. Or is the motorcycle? Maybe it's just the motorcycle. Box art makes it look like there's a dude too, but I can't imagine it's both. So it must just be the motorcycle. Okay, one thing before I forget too, we also did get uh, some gun primer and G rework in. Uh, there's not much to talk about this. I usually neglect it, but you know, all the usual good stuff, balancers and all that kind of stuff, the runner clips, which are useful, especially for small runners. Big, big runners are not as helpful for because they're not that supportive. We rearranged the bin over here, but we've got a whole lot of, of G rework in now. So G rework is another uh, Korean decal manufacturer. Last time we got them in, a lot of them went super fast, some not as much, uh, but we did get a, a sizable G rework restock, so it might be worth checking out as well. Okay, so that's what we have for restocks this week. We most likely might have another few things that have not arrived yet. If they arrive in time to get them checked in and ready to go today on Thursday, then they will be up for the restock. If for some reason they don't, they'll go in next week. But so if, you know, even if you didn't see something you necessarily wanted, it might be worth taking a look anyway just to see if we have any last minute additions. Maybe the virtues, probably not. Uh, okay, Q and A. We've got a bunch of questions this week. Uh, remember, if you have a question you'd like answered, post it down in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer it next week. First question comes from Plastic Germs. Questions. What is Mecha Warehouse's next goal to becoming the number one stop for all our Gunpla and Plamo needs? There's a whole, whole lot of things. I feel like I've talked about a bunch of these. I think the next stop is probably the bigger warehouse. Uh, that's the next big milestone that I'm hoping to hit. Because once I get there, that opens up all the options for more paint lines, 
more tools, more kits, just having being able to get more stuff in here means we have more things we can offer. And until we get that warehouse, we need that. So that's, I think, the next big, big milestone we're hoping to hit in the next, you know, three to six months, maybe. Hopefully closer to that three month mark. He also says, fun question, besides popcorn, what are the mech warehouse crews most must have movie, candy, or snack? So besides popcorn, uh, so my my answer, hmm, must have movie candy or snack. I don't know. I'm trying to trying to think. For me, I, I guess it would be something like M and M's or something like that. Some sort of easy small candy that you can kind of grab. They come in a bag and not a hard thing so they're easier to hide on your way into the theater which is which is always good if you don't like paying theater prices on stuff i don't think there's anything else i think popcorn is actually the the go-to but you said besides popcorn first off popcorn is gross second off it's only sour patch kids go to movie snack uh well everything's overpriced for starters but um nachos aren't bad i guess um don't go to the movies too often unfortunately but um whatever i can get depends on the movie good stuff Go to movie theater snack, non Perels. Every time since I was a little kid. And I have to, to ask you, when you asked that question on the Instagram, ask me anything, did you mean we should go see a movie? Or were you asking me what my go-to movie was because I was perhaps confused? Okay, anyway, next question, uh, Galactic Emperor. I have a question for the team and it has to do with their collection. Which are the best kits they've built so far? And will they recommend others to get one as well? Uh, so I'll answer this, and I guess we'll cut in maybe some other answers from whoever's around today. Uh, personally, I think one of my favorite kits that I've built would be the Master Grade Heavy Arms. Talk about the Heavy Arms being one of my favorite uh, mobile suits. I feel like I've built that twice. It's been a solid kit. Master Grade Tall Geese is actually a really good kit too. Uh, and so those are ones I would personally highly recommend. But Almost everything I've built, I would recommend. There's only a few kits that aren't very good that I've built anyway. <laughs> you fools. Uh, the best kit by far is the high-grade Zgok E. And yeah, I'd recommend getting one or th two or three. So I would say that the um, one of the best kits, in my opinion at least, would be the uh, the high-grade Gog, <laughs> because uh, it's very like it's very articulate. It's very expressive. And you can even make it perform like the YMCA dance if you really wanted to. Uh, so I, I would recommend getting uh, a GOG. It's also not that expensive, too. I think you can find it maybe like $10, $15 some places if you get lucky. But yeah, GOG all the way. Best kit to date that I've built? Probably the new Verica or the maybe the Zosby Verica. I did them back to back. So they're, they're really good kits, and I would recommend either one to anybody. So... Ooh, I'm gonna answer this real quick. Nick Savory. All right, next question, 0195. Uh, nice to see the business growing, thank you. But as the business grows and you have more business stuff to deal with, would you ever stop being the face of Mecca Warehouse, i.e. doing the social media stuff like these updates and whatnot? That's a, that's a great question. This is something I think about fairly regularly just as we you know take steps forward, what's the next thing? And I think, uh, I think the, the simple answer is no or the short answer, but the long answer is kinda. And what I mean by that is I, I'm pretty sure I will always, at least as long as I'm able to be involved, I'm going to be involved at that level, probably doing things like weekly updates and being kind of that face. That said, I think as we grow, we're gonna try to do more and more content. And in order to expand the amount of content we're doing, that might involve using more people from the warehouse for stuff. It might involve uh, hiring people just to create content, things like that. And in that way, the, we might have more faces, even if I'm still like the face as the, the chairman, I think of it like, uh, I don't know, it was like Jordan's Furniture. I don't know, I guess that's a Northeast brand, but the, the owners of that business were always kind of front and center. They had like their chairperson and I'm sure they had other stuff going on too. And I, I feel like that's kind of my plan, at least for the time being. Of course, that always can change, but I don't, I don't think I will ever like completely disappear from it. But what the part that I do might change depending on, you know, my time availability and how much we're trying to accomplish. Hopefully that answers that question well. 
Uh, next one is from Israel Acosta. Question for the week, best fast food fries? That's a, that's a great question. Kind of a difficult one because I feel like there's different fast food places have fries that are great in their own way. I think I'd probably go with Five Guys because it's kind of what they're one of the things they're almost like known for. Um, but uh, I probably would answer that differently in a different week depending on what's in front of me and how hungry I am. Uh, last one, Gun Plus Spade Double O. Do you know when the RG God Gundam pre-orders will go up? This is a, another great question. I don't know for sure. It depends on when we get our confirmations. If it follows the same pattern as our most recent set of confirmations, I would expect like the end of April because it was about a month into that production cycle when we finally got our confirmations and then add a few days to create listings and get them up. So probably end of April, hopefully sooner, could be later. I think the last cycle was a little bit later by maybe a few weeks. Uh, but end of April, early May is most likely the time frame that I would expect them to go up. And uh, I believe that's all I have for questions. Like I said before, if you have a question, post it down in the comments below and I'll try to answer it next time. Thanks for watching.